couple of weather impact alert days for today and tomorrow. We have multiple rounds of storms on the way. We'll time out when the rain could impact your 4th of July plans. Holiday travel is underway. The best and worst time to take off this morning. Prepare yourself before setting sail. How to keep your family safe on the water this weekend. Emergency plan for the upcoming school year passes. The major changes this morning from St. Louis Public Schools. Turning a negative into a positive. Meet the Metro East man feeding families in his community. Blessed to, to get to where I am now. This is Today in St. Louis, focused on you. Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday, July the 3rd. I'm Rennie Knox. And I'm Michelle Lee. Thanks so much for joining us. Our crew just arrived on the scene of a crash in St. Louis County. Uh, we do want to get to that. Paul, what are you seeing out there right now? Yeah, Michelle, this is a live look in Maplewood. The location here is Flora, Flora at Hanley. And we do know now that this is a fatal accident. It's been very wet this morning. Just be so careful. First calls came in on this one just before 530. And you know what you're seeing here? That road is fully shut down. You might know right where this is, uh, just to the north here of 44. And again, a fatal accident there in Maplewood. Let me show you how it looks here on our map. And uh, you can kind of see a way around it. It's a difficult thing because there aren't really sensors right there in the road. It's where the arrow is right now here in Maplewood. You also have an accident at 44 at Shrewsbury. So what am I thinking here? I would say try to take uh, Manchester if you can. We don't always suggest Manchester, but I was looking and it's pretty clear. We will definitely keep a very close eye on this and uh, we have calls out. Haven't heard back yet, but more coming guys. We'll also uh, do uh, uh, the other roadways and some travel times. All right, let's check that weather, which is a, a certainly a part of this story as well. Yeah, it's wet out there this morning. We've been watching rain move in from central Missouri and the showers have been coming down in St. Louis now for about an hour west of St. Louis from St. Charles back to central Missouri. You have parts that have seen upwards of two to four inches of rain from this complex of storms. So nothing severe, but certainly heavy rainfall that could impact you as you head out the door back to Herman Union, Washington, Missouri, down in the Sullivan and Cuba, and even north of St. Louis from Litchfield Staunton. That 55 drive is completely wet all the way there from into St. Louis. And there you see light to moderate rain for the St. Louis metro area. This is the first round of rain through the next couple of days. Nothing severe this morning. We'll catch a break. It's already humid numbers by lunchtime up to 86 and we're near 90 this afternoon. More storms fire up later today and more storms for 4th of July. We will break down the time in on all of the stormy weather to come. That's coming up in just a few minutes, guys. New this morning, St. Louis firefighters are investigating two fires at the same building as suspicious. Both happened in different sections of the building on Minnesota Avenue, just south of Chippewa. The fire you see on the left side of the screen here broke out at 1230 this morning. Firefighters got it under control fairly quickly. But then three hours later, firefighters are called back for another fire, the one that you see here on the right. Right now, it remains unclear as to just how those fires got started. This morning, many of you will be hitting the road or catching a flight for the holiday weekend. And today is expected to be one of the busiest travel days. Mm -hmm. Diamond Palmer is live for us at St. Louis Lambert Airport with a look at how lines are looking this morning. A lot busier behind you now. And I, I think you're in Terminal 2, right, Diamond? You're in Southwest. Michelle and Rennie, that's right. We are inside of the Southwest Terminal. As you can see behind me, uh, people are coming in droves this morning. We've been here for about two hours at the airport. Really a lot of smiling, a lot of laughing, a lot of cheers. People are just happy and excited to be traveling this weekend. We've got two of those travelers right here with me. We've got Angie and Julie. These are two best friends that are excited to hit the skies. Okay, tell me where you're going though. We're going to Maine. We're going to travel to a couple different cities just for four days and Hopefully have a good time. Yeah, awesome. And obviously you guys are traveling during a busy, busy holiday weekend. Are you shocked or surprised to see the lines kind of moving fairly quickly this morning? Yeah, we were just talking about that. It, it's very quick. It looks like everything is going speedy and we're not checking bags, so that's good. We're just going to go straight through. But she was just saying it's a lot different than the last time she traveled. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this will be really speedy today, so. 
And we're happy to hear that, happy to see that. And you heard it right there, folks. The key to this is showing up early and probably not even checking a bag if you have to go travel this weekend. The two best friends actually tell me that they got a deal on their flight, only paid about 20 bucks using Southwest Point. So incredible stuff there. Triple A says the average flight per price for this holiday weekend, get this, is about $800 round trip. So people are really breaking the bank to, of course, travel throughout the holiday weekend. Of course, if you are going to be taking car, there are a few times that you should probably stay away from. We want to put those on your screen here for you. So if you are planning to travel by car throughout the holiday weekend, Triple A recommends the worst times would be any time today between 2 p.m. and 7 p.m. And then after the holiday on Sunday, July 7th, that is also the worst time between 2 p.m. and 7 p.m. Triple A recommends the best time to return home for both drivers and flyers is going to be Monday, July 8th. That way you can avoid any rush hour traffic in the morning or afternoon. Now get this, AAA also predicts that about 60 million Americans will be traveling by car, which is about more than 2.8 million more travelers than last year. And road trips could take you about 67% longer for this holiday weekend than any other. So certainly some things to keep in mind here. Now the airport wants to remind people at home, if you are choosing to get on a flight here just behind me, make sure to check the airport website or the airline website to make sure that your flight still remains on time. Reporting live here in St. Louis, Diamond Palmer, five on your side. Makes you want to take a trip, doesn't it? Mm. All right, well, let's change gears here a little bit. We've covered cars and planes, but many will be hitching up boats today and driving out to one of the many lakes in Missouri and Illinois. Our Sydney Star Wars joins us now live at one of the most popular water destinations out there, <laughs> Lake St. Louis. Uh, Sydney, <laughs> why well, stop laughing like that? You say uh, this year families need to put safety first before they set sail. Guys, I honestly couldn't think of worse conditions to get out on a boat uh, this morning. But this is really important because we're talking boating safety. And yeah, it actually is really important to pay attention to that this year. You know, at places like Lake St. Louis, and we are the only people out on the lake in these conditions this morning, there are plenty of boating rules to be aware of. Take a look. If you can see through the rain, there are plenty of markers in the water. Boaters need to be aware of speed limits, things like that that help keep you safe. Now, just because these rules are posted does not mean everybody is following them. And I can tell you that across the state, boating safety risks are actually up this morning and partially because the foot traffic is up too. We roughly averaged about 5 million to 6 million visitors. Now we average approximately anywhere between uh, 15 and 20 million uh, during the major holidays and weekends. Now, boating while drunk is one of the most common causes of boating deaths. You'll remember this time last year, our newsroom told you about a boat driver who crashed his boat into a house at Lake of the Ozarks because he was so intoxicated. We have this video for you there. It was absolutely shocking as it came into our newsroom. There are several things that you have to keep in mind when it comes to boating safety. Make sure you pay attention to the rules posted. Make sure that you're aware of the wake zones and the speed limits. But I did check in with one of the most popular boating destinations, Lake of the Ozarks, and they tell me that one of their biggest problems, surprisingly, is beginner boaters out on the water. And we like to encourage people for every, uh, uh, like one can of beer, as an example, please drink uh, a uh, one bottle of water. Consume as much water as you can uh, to offset the alcohol. Yeah, beginner boaters, a big issue. Also, boaters who underestimate the impact of alcohol while you're out on the water. Now, think about 4th of July. Uh, you'll be able to fortunately dodge this weather, get out earlier in the day when it's nice and sunny, and that heat and humidity does impact uh, your alcohol intake as well. Now, if you're going to get out and even try to swim in a natural body of water, lake, river, you have to approach that differently as well. We're going to tell you how you can stay safe this 4th of July holiday in our next half hour, and I'm going to try to dry off. That's the very latest here from Lake and St. Louis. <laughs> uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Sydney Stallworth. Oh my gosh. Thanks so much, Sydney. You know, eventually it will dry out, right? Okay. We are taking a live look at the O'Fallon Family Sports 
park over in the Metro East this morning because you don't have to wait until tomorrow to see some fireworks. Weather permitting, of course, the annual fireworks over O'Fallon display will kick off around 830 tonight and tomorrow night. Thousands will celebrate America's birthday in downtown St. Louis. There's going to be live music, a parade and of course fireworks. You can be sure to join us tomorrow morning on Today in St. Louis because our Travis Cummings will share everything you could possibly want to know about the celebrations at 6 a.m. And for a list of fireworks displays near you right now, you can text the word fireworks to 314-425-5355 and we'll send you a link. This morning, we also want to hear from you. How will you celebrate the 4th of July this year? Simply text your plans to 314-425-5355 and be sure to include a picture if you can. We'll go through your text, texts and share some in our next half hour. Coming up, changes to your school schedule, how this will impact students at St. Louis Public Schools in just a few weeks. Well, we have showers and storms coming down, as you saw from Sydney's live shot. And yes, the rain continues this morning. There will be multiple rounds of storms, not only through today, but into the 4th of July as well. We're back to talk all about your forecast.